Jack. Jack's Big Breakfast. A uh, friend of our show, Brian Boy, is in studio with us. Thanks Brian for having me. You look lovelier every time I see you, Brian. Well, thank Trudeau. you. Thank I knew you. Yes. I knew where yes. I was going. Thank you. Yeah. Nikki, uh, happy to see that you've managed to not drink vodka this morning. Uh, you know what? I have a uh, long day ahead of me. Don't yourself out yet. No, it's... that was yesterday. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was technically the last evening. Uh, I'm actually excited because you're working on another film project. You're our friend in many different ways, but you actually work on these projects that we find fascinating. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah. No, this is a very cool uh, doc that you're working on, and uh, give us the premise of set this up for us because I think people find this very interesting. And you actually need their help. Yeah, I, I, um, the documentary is called Famous Last Words. What it is is it is a documentary that explores uh, what happens when somebody, either knowingly or unknowingly, talks with somebody for the very last time. Wow. Whether they pass away, whether they up and disappear, whether they have, you know, I just got a story the other day of somebody that had a big lover spat and, you know, the, her, her husband was like, I don't want to ever talk to you again, bleepity bleep, the end. Gone. Yeah. Never see this person again. Wow. Um, and it kind of examines those stories for both the good and the bad and how people's lives kind of change and how they deal with the things that they've said because they don't get another chance as they move forward in their life. That hmm. one specific moment alters everything. Yeah. You think it could be heavy, but have you gotten anything that's light? Yeah, actually that's so far? as a filmmaker that's kind of my challenge is to right. kind of find the balance between all these morose like oh that sucks stories to like mm-hmm. honestly one of the one of the stories I'm going to have that I know for sure I'm going to use is um she's an actress and a performer here in town and and her mom was kind of in and out of kind of lucidity in, in the kind of later stages of her life 10 years ago. Um, and she uh, was – her mom had like one really good day of really kind of being there. And, and she said, Mom, what what do you have to tell me? You know, what's mm-hmm. what's the lesson that I need to know? Yeah. You know, and she goes, you know, your dad and I always wanted to go to Europe and we never went to Europe. We scrimped and we saved and we never made it to Europe. And then your dad left me for a secretary and I never went – to Europe. She goes, don't be afraid to do the things that make you happy. Hmm. And, wow. you know, that was one of the last conversations she had with her mom. Um, and then her mom passed away a month later and she quit her corporate job and started acting and performing and um, has gone on to, I mean, she's going on a little mini West Coast tour with her little cabaret duet act nice. and, and um, has been in you know, major major motion pictures and and just as a wonderful performer and, and has just this really spirit that kind of flows through her and you can tell that she's you know she's doing it because it genuinely makes her happy yeah but needed something to put her over the edge and tell her to go out and do it yeah absolutely yeah. Um, you know and, and I it's it's hard trying to get these people to really open up to to me and that's why I have to share my story um, mm-hmm. you know this is a film that I've wanted to make for you know for Eight years now, uh, when I moved to Kansas City, I joined the Independent Filmmakers Coalition. I, this was the first project I wanted to do, and I just I wasn't in a place where I could do it, mm-hmm. like, either professionally or, or, or emotionally, to make this project. Uh, in 2000, I went on this big epic road trip with a bunch of my old fraternity buddies, and we went to um, a Chicago White Sox game and sang the national anthem. And wow. Were, yeah, it was awesome. And we, I, we left from Nebraska. We all lived in Nebraska. And then we left Omaha at midnight one night, drove to Chicago. Hung out in Chicago, sang the national anthem, the, and these four four old guys because we were all you know graduated. We all drove back that night because we all had to work. Mm-hmm. So um, w- among in in the group of car that I was with was my friend Bill. He was one of my three best friends in the world. Um, I, you know, I was in his wedding; he was in mine. Um, you know, and, and and I hadn't seen him in a while because we'd moved to different cities. And I, and I said, you know, I, I haven't seen you in a little while. I was like, I'm going to see you next month. We're going to have this big old party. We're all going to get together, have a few beers. I was like, I miss you. I love you. He said, I, I, I love you too. And we turned and we just parted ways. Uh, four weeks later, uh, Bill was driving a friend down a country road and they went off road and the car crashed into a, like a mm-hmm. body of water. And they didn't find him. It was, a, it was like the biggest story in Nebraska for that summer. And they didn't find their bodies for two years. Oh, two wow. years. Wow. But at this, you know you left him on, to your point, you left him with the best thing you could ever said. Right, yeah, which is kind of the genesis of where it starts. And this project isn't necessarily about my story. It starts with me and Bill, mm-hmm. um, but it talks about, you know, what what do you do? You know, part two of that is then shortly after Bill disappeared, and it might have been a year later, there was a young couple driving down the interstate, and these kids dropped a paving stone off of a bridge, uh, yeah. and it killed her instantly. And I and I always kind of wondered, what are they talking about when that happens? Mm-hmm. You know, right. is it, you know... I love you. Is it I hate you? Is it do we want to have Franks and beans or mac and cheese for dinner tonight? Right. The end. Mm -hmm. Like, that's it. 
which is why I've always been really conscious to, even when I'm mad at my wife or whoever, you know, when we're on the phone or, you know, if I'm on, if I'm driving home and, and we're arguing over the phone, which very rarely happens because she's a lovely lady. Um, <laughs> I met her. She is a lovely yeah, lady. Right. She's tolerant, very tolerant. <laughs> you know, but what happens if you hang up and go, you know, you blankety blank click and then you're driving through the triangle and you're wiped out by a truck. Yeah. Could you call my husband real quick and maybe bring him up to speed on your project? Because wow. <laughs> words of wisdom there. All right. So this is it's a very – my interest is peaked now. This is a very interesting premise for, for a documentary. How can people help? This is where you need the public's help. You need stories. So what? Uh, how can they get a hold of you now? Well, what I'm doing throughout the month of July is I'm really pushing hard to get the get the idea out there. Um, it's, it's a great – people love talking about it. And I think, honestly, everybody has some sort of a story. Sure. Right. right. Um, what I'm doing throughout the month of July is just trying to talk to people, trying to gather stories um, that I might use in the project. At this point, I honestly don't know how long this project's going to be. It could be a 20-minute mm-hmm. documentary. It could be an hour-and-a-half documentary. Who knows? I'm letting the stories come to me. Right. I'm letting people talk. I'll talk to anybody. I will shamelessly talk to anybody. And it's <laughs> it's really kind of – it's it's really touching the, the way that people will open up to you. Um, so I'm trying to gather stories. Mm-hmm. Um, and the other thing that I'm doing is I've, I've joined up with – there's a website called kickstarter.com where um, we're trying to raise money for the production of the film. Okay. Um, so if you go to kickstarter.com, you search for Famous Last Words, which is the name of the documentary. You can mm-hmm. see a little teaser trailer that I have up there um, that kind of explains my story with Bill. And then there's some, you know, some text about what I plan to do with the funds that people can donate um, and and how it will go on to, to make the project. Okay. Um, and then and you are legit. We will vouch for you. You're a legit guy. That's you've done previous work. That's awesome. So well, it, uh, Nikki likes it because I, I really do good in sophomore humor and <laughs> you're and a good egg. Is what I'm saying. So uh, which is another weird thing because I'm used to like comedy. Like I'm a short form comedy guy, and I'm right? doing this long form, really kind of heavy burden thing. So <laughs> I'm really kind of stepping outside of you know what I know, but it's mm-hmm. something that's really personal. It's to very me. interesting. All right, but did you have a website if people have a story that they want to get to you or how do they gonna, how are they going to find you now through the Kickstarter site is that how? Kickstarter is okay. kind of the best place to do um, for those of you that are on the Facebook mm-hmm. I hear this is a hip thing the kids do the <laughs> sure, Facebook the Facebook sure. yep. right uh, if you get on Facebook you search famous last words you'll find it there that's okay. going to be pretty much the fastest most interactive way to, to talk to me yeah sure okay. um, my email uh, you can send an email if you have a story if you want to just help out in any capacity um, is famous last words doc at okay. gmail.com. Okay. Um, Facebook's really super easy. You can post your story on there. Um, and it, and it, uh, we're in. I'm working on getting a, a famous last words website up so that it'll kind of be a little interactive thing. Okay. Yeah. And who knows where this goes? I mean, if if it takes right. off, if the documentary does well, uh, an interactive website does well, you know, who knows what it turns into? Maybe it turns into a book. Who knows? Mm-hmm. It's 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 a really fun. It's a fun topic to talk about. It's interesting. It gets people talking. Right. And honestly, if people can take this project and watch my movie and then. You know, call their sister that they haven't talked to in 10 years and say, listen, I was a jerk. Right. Or, you know, just make sure that you say I love you at the end of the night, Nikki Pace. I know you and Mike <laughs> usually end up. <laughs> your Are you still one. breathing over there? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, he's old. I mean, he. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> um, so, if, I mean, if I can just get the lines of communication right. opened up um, and get people to talk, um, that's what I'm here it's for. Done and it's I, I it's hope done it, its job yeah. then. Right. Brian Boy, the uh, the uh, project is called Famous Last Words, once again, through kickstarter.com or on Facebook as well. Brian, very interesting. Thank you for sharing. Thanks for having me. Appreciate and, it. And uh, come buddy. back and tell us how the progress is going and everything. And Absolutely. We'll see, uh, we'll see how it works. Love it. All Thank right. you. Okay, you bet.